This is the Anubis, a Max on Deck color themed full nylon tactile switch manufactured by Durot. Now, what makes this switch particularly interesting aside from its all nylon housing is its extended stamp pole, which makes for a very pleasant sound signature. If you're looking for a tactile switch with a strong tactile bound and a deep, very talky sound profile, consider the Anubis. So what is the Anubis? As mentioned, it is a very strong tactile switch with a full nylon housing. So both the top and bottom housing of this switch is made of nylon. Aside from that, it also has a palm stand with an extended stamp pole. So you get this nice poppy sound profile. The spring, on the other hand, is a 65 gram gold-plated spring with some factory lubing out of the box. And more on that in the next section of this review. Like most switches manufactured by Duroc, it also has a 5-pin design, so it is a PCB-mounted switch. As for pricing, we got the Anubis from Elon KB for $9.5 Sing dollar for 10 switches, so that comes out to about 3 ringgit per switch, so that puts it in the same price point as other high-end switches. So what's so great about the Anubis? Well, first of all, it is factory looped, so it is smooth right out of the box. The stem as well as the springs are coated with an old base lubricant, but the housing itself looks to be dry so we would definitely recommend re-lubing the switch if you want the best consistency as well as smoothness. The strong tactility of the Anubis is also one of its best qualities. Similar to the Boba U40 as well as the Glorious Panda, the tactile bump starts at the top with a bit of post-travel after the bump. But compared to these two switches, the Anubis tactile bump is slightly sharper in comparison. Unlike the Boba U40 or the Glorious Panda, the Anubis all nylon housing lends to a very deep sounding but also quite muted sound profile especially compared to the U40. Combined with the long stamp pole of the Anubis, you get this nice poppy sound signature that is popularized by the Holy Panda. The tolerance of the Anubis is also very, very good. The stem only has a slight bit of wobble both horizontally and vertically, but it is still very, very good overall. One last thing that I surprisingly quite like about the Anubis is its colorway. Looking at its product shots online, I wasn't thrilled by how green it looks, but once I actually have it in my hands, it's actually quite soothing to the eyes. It would even go well with GMK Botanical, which is having its second group buy right now. Now let's move on to the not so great stuff about the Anubis. First of all, because it is factory looped, it is a little bit inconsistent in some switches. Out of the 40 switches that I've tried, two of them felt a little bit too sticky to the point that I can barely feel the tactile bump. The travel was also greatly reduced for some reason. Despite the fact that the Anubis is factory loop, there is still audible leaf noise as well as some spring ping. Now, I imagine with some lubing, both of these issues can be rectified, but if you want to use a switch right out of the box, the Boba U40 would be better in this regard because it barely has any leaf noise as well as spring ping out of the box. That's actually one of the best qualities of the Boba U40. Anyway, let's get to the biggest shortcoming of the Anubis, in my opinion, the sluggish return. There is a bit of delay in the upstroke of the switch, making it feel a little bit slow and not as snappy as it could be. It's even more noticeable on the spacebar since there's more keycap to return up. Of course, when you're typing fast, you won't quite notice it, but if you look out for it, you'll definitely feel it. So is the Anubis worth it then? Well, let's compare it first to the Boba U40. The U40, as mentioned, is a better switch stock because there's little to no spring ping and leaf crunch out of the box. The sound profile of the U40 is also slightly fuller with a deeper downstroke, but the Anubis is a quieter switch. This is especially in the upstroke of the two switches. The Anubis sounds deeper and quieter, but the U40 on the other hand is louder with a higher pitch sound profile.
aside from that the Anubis is also a sharper tactile switch so if you don't quite like a rounded bump like the U40 the Anubis is better in this regard last but definitely not least it looks better than the dull color of the U40 I mean just look at the two switches side by side here but the biggest shortcoming of the Anubis lies in the fact that it has a slightly sluggish upstroke that reduces the snappiness of the switch. But if you don't mind lubing the switch and swapping the springs for a heavier spring to try to make it snappier, the Anubis is definitely an excellent, excellent tactile switch. After all, it is easily one of the deepest sounding tactile switches that we've ever tried. And if this is the sound profile that you want, you will not go wrong with the Anubis. And that is it for this review of the Anubis. As always, we will leave you guys with a sound test of this switch on the Vega. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and always stay tuned for more good stuff to come here on this channel as well as nextshift.com.